Um, on the recruitment side, um, the real trick to recruitment is kind of being into the right networks. Um, it kind of goes the same with like fundraising and everything. If you're hanging out with people who are really interested in the stuff that you're interested in already, they will be interested in what you're doing. So if I'm hanging out with a whole lot of people at Django meetups and all the people at React Native meetups, for example, which are two core tech stacks, you know, if I say, oh, I could really do with another front end developer, I've got a whole room of people that I go to every month who are React Native developers. And, you know, one of them in that room is going to want a job. So, you know, without having to pay a whole lot of recruitment fees and without having to kind of search through job boards, you have people at the back of your mind where you kind of think, yeah, I'd really like to hire you at some point. This would be amazing. And when you get the chance, you kind of think, yes, this is the person to hire. I can't wait to kind of make this interview a reality. That's oh, superb. Uh, and obviously you, you mentioned, because it's, it's very, very important, obviously, to have certain parameters in place that you're going to base your recruitment mm. tactic on as well. Um, what what kind of parameters do you base your recruitment on? I know obviously you're pretty much developing everything yourself at the moment, but obviously for yeah, you've obviously had to recruit people in the past, haven't you, as well? Yeah, I mean, we've got a team of um, around six now in Storecard. There's not as much tech in there, but there's a lot of different other roles that we have. Okay. Um, so the things that I really think about is, I can't remember who said it, but it really rings true. It's like um, culture eats strategy for breakfast. You know, if you have the right first 10 employees, it's like um, it's like a stack of cards where you've got a really solid base and you build on top of that. If somebody is not quite right culture wise, it means the whole thing can fall down. If you have a company of less than 20 and somebody quits, for example, I mean, that that would send shockwaves. And that's something really to worry about. Whereas if you have a company of 500 people, one person quits, it's kind of not that big a deal. So you really have to think about are people growing and do I have the potential to, you know, do, do I have at my hand something to help them grow? Because if they're growing, they'll stay. Um, are they going to fit with the culture? Do they believe in the mission of what we're doing? You know, or are they just turning up for the paycheck? Um, if they really believe in the mission of what we're trying to do, they'll go as, as above and beyond as us as founders will. And that is super key to make sure you've got the best people at the beginning. Um, and the other thing is don't hire on experience, hire on potential. So just because somebody hasn't been doing something for five years at some big company, if it's something they want to learn to do and they really, really want to develop their career in that situation, in a year's time, they'll be much fresher on everything. They'll have a brand new perspective and also they'll be hungry for even more. Um, so it's really making sure you kind of look at what things they've done in their past, which aren't necessarily the things which they're going to be doing in their job, but something that proves that when they go that there, I'm going to do that, they can take that um, commitment through and make it all happen.